Hey guys, welcome back to yet another tutorial with GIMP. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can create this photographic text effect with GIMP. Now to get started, you if you want to get started and follow along with the exact same steps I'm doing, make sure you have downloaded this particular image from Pixabay. I'll have a link down in the description of the video so go ahead and download that and open that up in GIMP and you should be good to go. And I have previously created a similar video with Inkscape so if you are interested in watching that I'll put a link down in the description of the video so go ahead and watch that if you want to learn how you can do that using Inkscape. Now in this video we're going to be opening up the file of the beach so uh, this is the highest resolution of, uh, I could find from Pixabay. Um, so the first thing, we're going to create a new document, actually create a new layer. And I'm going to just name that gradient in all caps, gradient. All right. And I'm going to take the color palettes and I'm going to choose something like a, let me choose a nice pinkish color which matches this this area right here where you see a pink and there you see an orange so we're gonna take a pinkish color um, somewhat like so all right and the color code is FF006C so do, just go ahead and type that into your HTML notation and you should be good to go press OK and the background color we're gonna choose is something like a orange you see here ff7140 is the color i'm using so just go ahead and type that in the html notation box and you should be good to go now press ok and now you now you take your gradient tool or blend tool go to your tool options make sure you have set shape linear offset zero repeat none and we're going to go to foreground to background and I'm gonna see how it is and bring the opacity down like 60 or 50 and I'm just gonna press X to swap my colors and I'm gonna see how they are I'm just gonna extend this a little bit more like so maybe this one um, somewhere like this all right this is looking pretty good and I'm just gonna bring the opacity somewhat like this and now I'm gonna take the move select tool sorry the text tool and I'm gonna use the font Montserrat heavy I'll put a link down in the description for this font so just go ahead and take that in it's absolutely free for downloading and I'm just gonna type in GIMP since I use that in the thumbnail and I'm just gonna go to the tool options make white all right and now we're going to bring down the um, spacing between the letters and we're going to increase the size to 552 if you are just following along this tutorial but if you're using any other image be sure to check that and play around with the text size actually i'm going to increase the size of the text real quick clicking on this increase the size like so to 655 and I'm going to take the alignment tool and line that to the center of the page and I have set selection in the relative too so if you click on that you can see a drop down and make sure you have select select selection and now just I have aligned that to the center of the page well what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click on that and offer the selection and I'm just gonna press this eyeball near to that text so it turns off the visibility and as you can see we have a selection of the text going around you can see there's some lines going around so I'm gonna go to the gradient and press delete and you should make a hole through the uh, gradient layer and now we're gonna take our unified transform with this button what I usually do is I use the shift and T to have the unified transform and now I'm going to go to select none and click on the the beach layer 
which is named as tropical i'm just going to rename that to beach sunset all right and now we're going to click on the layer and click on the big square and hold control so it is just scaling up like so and press enter and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the move tool and click on the beach layer and place somewhere like this make sure you have text covering entire make sure you have the uh, beach layer covering the entire text now we're going to go to our levels tools on this toolbar click on the image i'm just going to add a little bit of contrast maybe a little bit more highlights actually bring midtones to the left so the 64 clamp input 0 0.35 and 255 and i'm just going to see the before and after so the after is obviously the better one and if you want you could just move this around till you see where it fits best and if you want can increase or decrease the layer opacity and i'm just going to decrease the layer opacity to 44.2 um so that's the opacity i'm going with and if you like did leave a like if you have any questions let me know for new daily content subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can get a notification when i post new videos and now with that said stay creative and stay healthy Till next time, thank you for watching.